Yeah, this is question 5. We are told to find the interval of definition of y equals sine x. Given that y equals sine x is actually a solution of this differential equation that we have here. Now, as a function, as a function, the domain of y equals sine x is negative infinity that is the set of all real numbers but then we are not told to find the domain we are told to find the interval of definition that is as a solution of the differential equation we need the domain such that the solution here which is y equals sine x is actually defined and differentiable it satisfies the differential equation anyway to check that what we need to do first is to verify that y equals sine x is actually a solution of the differential equation. So the next thing we're going to do is verification. Verification that y is y equals sine x is a solution to this. So to verify that the left hand side is actually the y dx. And if y equals sine x, then the y dx is going to be cosine of x while the right hand side is the square root of 1 minus y squared that's going to be sine squared x and that's going to be the square root of the cosine squared of x so something we observe about this man here which is the cosine squared of x is cosine squared since the cos of x all squared is always positive and then because of that our answer here is going to be the absolute value of the cosine of x so for y equals sine x to be a solution of this differential equation that is the left it implies that the left hand side and the right hand side must be equal that is cosine of x must equal the absolute value of the cosine of x now this is the graph of y equals the cosine of x now according to this equation that we have here it says for y equals sine x to be a solution of this differential equation we need all values of x such that the cosine of x is positive must be positive now looking at the graph here the cosine of x is positive only at the upper range looking at this place here is only positive at this area here it simply implies for all values of x that lie in this range from here to here we'll be having negative values you can see they will correspond to negative values of y so it simply implies that we do not need this interval here to be in the domain of definition if you go here this is valid because they are all positive when you come here again they give you negative numbers so we do not need this man here all the areas here should be shaded they should be cut off from the interval of definition while here is valid and then we keep on going on and on and on and on like that and then from what we see here you see that the interval they all have equal lengths and then based on the definition the interval of definition should just be any of them which you choose to give and according to what we have here the first interval of definition here you could just choose negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 because that's where you have um, the value of cosine of x to be all positive or you could choose from 3 pi to 5 pi over 2 that is 3 pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2 or you could go to the next one like that and that will be 7 pi all over 2 to 9 pi over 2 we could just keep on going and on and on and on but this any of them is going to be the interval of definition of y equals sine x as a solution of the differential equation here